We're back with our analyst as Joe Biden is trying to defuse the first crisis of his likely 2020 presidential bid. Bid. The former vice president has been denying any inappropriate behavior as a second woman is now coming forward with a complaint. Tonight, Biden's supporters, including his former spokeswoman, are rushing to his defense. CNN political reporter Arlette Sines is uh, joining us right now. Arlette, uh, Biden is the latest Democrat in what's being described as an apology tour uh, as the race for the White House takes shape. That's right, Wolf. And tonight, a source familiar with Biden's thinking tells me that these allegations will not dissuade Joe Biden from entering the 2020 race, but cautions he still hasn't made that final decision. Tonight, Joe Biden doing damage control, a second woman coming forward to allege the former vice president touched her inappropriately. Amy Lapos telling the Hartford Current he pulled her in to rub noses at a 2009 fundraiser in Connecticut. This after Biden was put on defense over the weekend. After a former Democratic Nevada lawmaker alleged he made her feel uneasy, gross and confused during a 2014 encounter. Very unexpectedly and out of nowhere, I feel Joe Biden put his hands on my shoulders, get up very close to me from behind, lean in, smell my hair, and then plant a slow kiss on the top of my head. A day and a half after the allegation first surfaced, Biden reacted. In my many years on the campaign trail and in public life, I have offered countless handshakes, hugs, expressions of affection, support and comfort. And not once, never did I believe I acted inappropriately. Adding, if it is suggested I did so, I will listen respectfully, but it was never my intention. I'm glad that he is clarifying his intentions Frankly, my point was never about his intentions, and they shouldn't be about his intentions. It should be about the women on the receiving end of that behavior. Also speaking out, the woman at the center of this viral photo. Stephanie Carter, the wife of former Defense Secretary Ash Carter, says the photo of Biden with his hands on her shoulders was misleadingly extracted from of video of her husband know. swearing in ceremony First in 2015, foremost. writing, the Joe Biden in my picture is a close friend helping someone get through a big day, for which I will always be grateful. Some of Biden's possible Democratic rivals say the Flores allegations should be taken seriously. I have no reason not to believe her. Let me make that clear. I believe Lucy Flores and Joe Biden needs to give an answer. It's not the first time Biden's had to reckon with his past. Just last week, Biden offered this mea culpa on Anita Hill. To this day, I regret I couldn't come up with a way to get her the kind of hearing she deserved. And other 2020 hopefuls have embarked on apology tours of their own. From Beto O'Rourke saying he's sorry for these comments. I just got a call from my wife, Amy, who's back in El Paso, Texas, where she is raising, sometimes with my help, Ulysses, who's 12 years old, Molly, who's 10, and their little brother, Henry. To Bernie Sanders, responding to staffers sexual harassment claims on his 2016 campaign. It was very painful, very painful, and it will not happen again. Several former female staffers to Biden have rushed to his defense over the past day, including his former press secretary, Elizabeth Alexander. She wrote an op-ed for, for USA Today saying that Biden has always supported women and acted as a champion for women's rights. Wolf. Arlette Science, thanks uh, very much for that report. Let's get back to our analysts and our correspondents. Sabrina, what do you think? Well, this was always going to be an issue for uh, Joe Biden as he uh, has mauled entering the 2020 field, particularly in the aftermath of the Me Too era. It's important to, of course, reinforce that no one is accusing the former vice president of sexual assault or harassment. Uh, what people are looking at differently is what was once dismissed as just Joe being Joe, the former vice president being very uh, friendly, a bit handsy. Is that perhaps a violation of a woman's personal space? You have had now, two women say that they did feel that it was a violation of their personal space and they didn't really know the vice president well. They felt uncomfortable. You've had others such as Stephanie Carter, the wife of uh, former Defense Secretary Ash Carter, say that a photo of her that's being shared is uh, being interpret misinterpreted and that it's just an exchange between two close friends. So what this does is it ultimately tees up a question for Democrats. Uh, one, is this behavior on Joe Biden's part going to be considered disqualifying as he balls a presidential bid? Or is it just going to force the party to have a more nuanced conversation around how to handle uh, certain allegations of inappropriate behavior uh, toward women, which are not necessarily black and white? Caitlin, what do you think? 
Well, I mean, I think it's interesting. I think this is the world we live in, the, the post Me Too era, and this is what candidates are going to have to face. I just think it's notable that repeatedly, time and time again, it's male politicians and male figures that are having these accusations against them. Very rarely is it women. And when a Amy Klobuchar was asked by my colleague Jeff Zeleny about this, she said she was tired of talking about what men do or what men didn't do or what they think they did. She said she thought it was time to start talking about what women did and what their policies are in this race. But I do think this is going to be a focus with Joe Biden getting into the race, um, and it's going to be something. One interesting aspect of all of this, I did see Kelly in Conway's interview yesterday. And there are some people in the White House who kind of think they should just sit this one out, sit back, let Democrats have to deal with the fallout from this and see how they react to this. But Kelly and Conroy was talking about how this was a known entity about Joe Biden. But then, of course, if the White House tries to weaponize that against Joe Biden, if he does enter the race, people are going to automatically bring up the president and his sexual assault and harassment accusations that have been made against him. And, of course, that Access Hollywood tape. And you remember what he said, that Access Hollywood tape. Uh, Jeffrey Tubin, how do you see it? Well, it's a different world. And, uh, you know, the, the same facts that were available um, when Joe Biden ran for vice president and when he ran for president um, 10 and 20 years ago um, look very different today because the world looks different. And the Democratic Party is going to have to figure out how much it cares uh, about uh, these sorts of issues. Um, you know, drawing distinctions between sexual assault and making someone feel uncomfortable. It's a big difference, but it is not nothing either. And, um, you know, I, I think we are dealing with um, an unknown here. I don't know what the uh, political impact will be because I don't think any of us know. It's just a different world. You think it's a generational uh, issue? I think there's a lot of things, including generational. Just to go talk about what Jeffrey said a moment ago. Yes, the same facts were available. I remember writing in 2012 that President Obama had made a good pick to pick President, uh, Vice President Biden as his running mate, both politically and in terms of governing. But there's a difference between being riding shotgun with President Obama and running for president in your own right. I think the problem for Biden going forward, Wolf, is going to be that you can't just compartmentalize this issue of him being touchy-feely. However it's interpreted, he's going to have to address this. He's going to have to address Anita Hill. He's going to have to address his Iraq war vote. He's going to have to address the 1988 presidential primary allegation of plagiarism. And you, at some point, you can't sort of compartmentalize every single thing. Democrats will be looking hard at all these things. And he hasn't even officially announced yet. We assume he's going right. to announce that this month. But uh, let's see what happens, guys. Thank you.